true indeed with you holy circle gaming thank you for rocking with your boy like always you see we'll be getting into a little bit of hearthstone today um before i get into it let me go ahead and get um let you know what we're trying to chase for at least in this particular segment um we got um a dominance uh, objective that we have to get into today uh five wins with either a paladin or a warrior i think i'm gonna take my first crack at this with uh warrior deck if i'm not mistaken i think i have a warrior deck available so i think i'm gonna take a run at it with the warrior deck real fast and see if i could actually get five wins um in that form or fashion um then they will re-up the objectives tomorrow if i'm not mistaken so we're gonna go from there i haven't ran the, uh, the warrior deck in a little bit now um haven't made any changes to it. Uh, you'll, you'll see the cards as they kind of roll out if you really want to know what I'm working with. Um, we could definitely uh, take take a look at that at um, some point in time. Um, maybe after this round or so, we maybe take a look at it and see. Um, but that's what we're looking into today. So we're going to actually kind of try to make a quick run at this to get five wins real fast. Uh, when I crafted this a while back, I did craft this to kind of just go face heavy just basically be like a a face warrior deck go you know hit hard hit extremely fast maybe run a slight bit tactical if necessary um but that was the way that this one was designed so i'm think i'm gonna kind of run it that way um go quick and fast with it and see if i could like get get these cats kind of out the way i don't know if i'm gonna play too reckless um don't think I'm gonna go too too reckless, but I am gonna um am gonna try to give it a little bit of run. We'll see as we go along. I'm gonna do this here. Quick three. We're gonna go maybe aggro. I don't know how much protection he's gonna have, but we'll take a quick look. I'm gonna try to get off this weapon. Can I have another weapon coming right here on the four drop? If I so choose to, he's gonna shield up, which is not a problem. Not a problem there. Wasn't really too worried about that. Ooh, and I got another weapon off top, which is cool. Uh, what I'm going to do in the two drop, I'm going to go here. I'm going to throw this one out there. I'm going to make him... I'm going to make him kind of use it on one. Maybe use it on that 2-1 Murloc. I'll get a free one if it plays out exactly the way I'm thinking. I think he'll just use his um, hero power. If he uses his hero power, take out the Murloc, um, it will at least give him, like, one additional damage. Then I'll get another free two. Exactly, exactly how I thought he was going to play it. Yep, that's exactly how I thought he was going to play that. That's exactly right on point. Ooh, that even helps even better. Because that will give me a free four as opposed to the two that I was thinking. Um, wow, I might as well. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? We're going to go real... Oh, I don't have it. I was going to go real risky. So that's 19 there. So he's going to have to drop something up there pretty fast. I'm thinking he's waiting for a sludge belcher to come out there, which will probably be the right move on his four drop. Uh, but he's going to get it out there pretty fast. If he don't get that uh, sludge belcher out in the next one, then he's going to run into a bit of a problem. Here it comes right now. Sludge. I think he got the sludge belcher coming right on Q. Um, six four. Behold, seven four. Yep. Seven one. Uh, storm one. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I'm not really worried about that. I think what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do is this. I am going to. I'm gonna take a run at it. That's fine. Uh, I I didn't care about that. That was kind of the trade-off I was thinking it was going to take. Uh, let's see. Uh, I could take five, six. What now? I must choose. Since I already swung, I can't swing twice. This is going to go this way. Four, 
We're gonna go this way. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep pushing this way. Put a lot of pressure on them and see. Um, that's five, eleven, uh, five, nine, ten, episode thirteen. Good trade. You better hope I don't have nothing that will be able to spin it out. Oh, that kind of works. Let's do this. Let's see. If, let's see if you have it. Let's see if you have the sludge belt to six five taunt. No problem at all. No problem at all. Um. Let's do this. Try this. Let's do that. Let's do that instead. So he's going to try to run all of his taunts right now because he's got to play protect right now. So I think that's the way he's going to play. He's going to throw another something to taunt. Two, two, and taunt, of course. Not a problem at all because I still got it protected. No problem at all. Oh, I should have should have held it. Uh, gain attack equal to the weapon. Actually, that might help. Um, if that goes five, what now? Five, two, three. Let's try this. I think we're going to try this instead. Watch this. I think we're gonna try this. I think the idea if I could get him to stop there, go to eight eight taunt. Yep, 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 yep. Destroy any mini, any minion damaged by a minion. Uh, four. Yeah, yeah, I got enough. I got enough. I think I have enough right here. Right, right on. Right on Q. Right here, right here, right there. Ten there. Should be right, right on point. Right on it. Real nice, real easy, real fast. That's the way when everything's flowing exactly right. That's the way that deck is supposed to play. Very quick, um, very efficient. Uh, you know, he tried to weigh his weigh himself out to try to get his taunts out. I just kind of went heavy, went hard, attacked hard, went strong in the paint. Uh, that was the only real way I could play this deck. You know, you kind of have to play real um. Real strong when you're playing this deck, coming hard, fast, quick when you're playing the warrior deck. Because the more you kind of put pressure on him to make decisions, you know, get taunts in and stuff to kind of slow down the pace, the better chance they have. Because if I didn't just keep banging away, banging away, banging away, it definitely wouldn't have happened whatsoever. I don't think I would have had a real shot at winning that because I didn't have many more cards that would have helped me out like towards the end if he actually would have started rolling out some heavier weight cards. Now, when you're playing against a hunter, you're really playing against two um, two sets of cards that run really fast too. Um, Sludge Belcher definitely would need that somewhere down the line. I like the charge there. I like this card. I actually like all four of these cards. I like the three drop, the two, three drop would definitely help I think what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna take this one out this one out and I think I'm gonna take that one out as well we're gonna try to see if I can get something small I need something to start off with even though it's early yeah that helps that helps that helps that's that's good that's actually good
So waiting on them to get go ahead and make the first move. I think they're just gonna go ahead and flip and turn because normally they don't have a bunch of one drops. Oh, and that's a nice little two drop there. Um, two drop protect. Well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go straight strong and go quick and fast. And let's see what he wants to do. Three, that would be three six if you try to do that. Two one on the charge, not a problem at all. Not too worried about that, which kind of changes up slightly what I want to do. Not really. Um, yeah, not really. It's not going to change up what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go pretty quick into the paint there. Um, then I'll go, then I think I'm going to go with the Ogre um, War Maul. I think it's going to be the next play, like right out the gate, unless they run another 3-5. Um, uh, That's a good play, good play, good solid play. I didn't, th I, I didn't think about that off top. Ah, oh, right on time. Now, I could do this, I could do a trade-off here. I could run this card out here. And see what he has. Actually, I think that's what I am going to do. I'm going to actually slow up a little bit. I'm going to actually slow up a little bit. I'm going to see if he's going to run another um, Murloc out there. Um, what I think he's going to run the Murloc that has plus one against the Murloc. 2-5 um, charge doesn't matter. That's pretty much one and the same if you're going to try to bull rush. That's cool. I like that. That's not a bad play on his part. Um, oh, five weapon there. That actually helps. So, uh, I know that's the right play for sure. Um, I could do this. I could run over the top and just exchange, exchange. Um, I could take a a slight run at this which I think I am I think I'm gonna take a run at that one there which actually goes over the top which is not a problem I don't foresee um I don't foresee that being a problem if I exchange and hit him for three no I'm gonna go over the top I'm just gonna go ahead and run it fast I'm gonna go over the top and see unless he has something that will be able to elevate it to make it run faster it's not a problem um, I have a couple of things to protect. I have a Sludge Belcher on deck, which will be right in the 5 drop, provided that he doesn't buff. 2 damage, yeah, 3-3, three, three, give him another 2, no problem there. Kind of exactly what I thought was going, what, what would happen off the top. Um... Let's do this. Okay, not a problem at all. That gives me 15. Yeah, 2-4 there against the Sludge Belcher. That's fine. I'm going to do that. I'll throw the Sludge Belcher out there. I'll play Protect because um, I have a I have a, a, a two-card um, six-drop that I could run, provided he doesn't run anything with a Taunt. Um, I do have something that will be able to... Um, Think hold that off just a little bit longer gives me um, a couple of free swings uh, nice silence nice play call nice play call didn't think about the silence in that instance but that's actually a good play call on his part you if he buffs it gives it well. three three two Someone called um two four okay Interesting play, huh? Interesting run of play. So, five, seven, nine, three, five, seven, nine. So, that's what we are going to do there for sure. Wonder. 
That's what we're gonna do for sure. This is what we're gonna do. I'll trade. I'm gonna have to trade off. I'm not, I'm, I don't really want to do that. I'm gonna have to trade off here. Spin that there for protection. That's the that's that was the right play to call. I, I can't go super aggro in this particular instance. I was thinking about maybe going aggro. That's the reason why I didn't want to go aggro off top. 12, 10, that's correct. Not a problem. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Need that. Need this for sure. He could go over the top with that, but if I exchange out. If I exchange out and get him out the way. I'll give him one and two. That'll actually get him out the way. Because if not, it's uh, here's what I'm thinking. I have this inner rage right here. If I throw the inner rage here and the sludge belcher is dead anyway, I could run him into it, take him completely out, and see what one of these two cards are here. He can kind of go for the top, but I don't think he can do too much. I think this is going to be the play I'm going to go with. And exchange that way. I think that's the way I'm going to go. And I have a five. I have a two five drop, and so he can't really do too much as far as like going over the top. There go the second one. Not not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. That's kind of what I was anticipating originally, anyway. Yes, I think that's the way I want to go here. Here's what I want to do. I think I want to do. Th Ooh, you know what I can do? What now? I know what I can do. Let's do this. Let's run this out here. Run that out there. Protect that up. And let's see what you wanna let's see what you wanna do. Let's see what you wanna do with that. I think that's the way we wanna do that. I think that's the right way. I think that's the right way to do that. Beast have charge, okay. What's the second beast? You're going to have to run them both in. Correct. Correct. Deal two damage. Still going to have to run it in there. And over the top? Really? Okay. This is going to go away. That's going to take a hit there. Boost that up. I'm going to throw the weapon here. Throw this out here. And now let's see what you want to do. So he kind of took a he kind of threw the dice to see if he was actually going to make that happen as far as like, you know, go for broke. And he really did take a chance going for broke there. Uh, yeah, eight fifteen. I'm gonna have to protect that there. Throw that out there. 8, 4, 7, 3, 15, 20, 22. That healing did come into play. I'm, I have to take him out. So I have to do that. have to do that. 
So it gives me nine there. So that's actually a pretty good play. Let's see what he pulls out. Let's see if he pulled the right one. Ah, six six. Wow, didn't pull the right one. He actually made a very valiant effort, and I had to really make a tactical adjustment to make sure that that happened the right way. So it was a really, a really tactical move I had to play. Yeah, that was. It was a real tactical move. And I understand that he was upset about that because he did everything that he could do right to make that happen. The only thing that was kind of wrong in that particular setup is that he just didn't have enough cards to stop. And I just had the right couple of cards to kind of keep him at bay. So it was actually a well-ran set of play right there. So very good so far. So the deck is running really good so far. I think the... The first set, I ran really aggressive, so real aggro the first go-round. The second time when I had ran the same deck, I had to kind of slow it down. I was running aggro at the beginning, had to slow down, play a little bit more tactical. That paid dividends. I think if I would have played more aggro in that second one, I think it would have been a real big problem running aggro. So, um, so exactly. So we're good so far. Um, two games up, two games down. Got three more to go. I am going to cut this particular segment of the video here. So this will be the part one. Then on the part two, I'm going to actually run that fairly shortly and go ahead and get that footage ready for you shortly thereafter. And hopefully we could go ahead and string everything together and get all these five done. So that's where we are right now. True indeed with you, Holy Circle Gaming. Thank you for rocking with your boy. And by the way, if I don't get a chance to holler at y'all before then, y'all have a great holiday season. Have a great Christmas and whatnot. And uh, we'll do this again again soon. Until the next time, y'all. Salute.